Good morning, this is Pastor Larry from El Shaddai Christian Assembly located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Our address is 1448 Greenwood Street and the zip code is 19150. And our phone number, <clears throat> excuse me, is 215-927-7188. And if you would like to uh, reach out to me via email directly, uh, it's pastor, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, pastor dot the letter L, S H A D D A I at gmail dot com. So first of all, thank you for turn, tuning into our, ca our channel, and uh, <clears throat> hope you had a. Uh, a good, good day, a good weekend, and all that good stuff. And uh, I know some people celebrate the holiday that just passed. And so, for you, I hope you had a good holiday, a good time with you and your family. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, and that brings me to today's uh, Tuesday teaching tidbit. Like I said, it's Tuesday, December twenty six, and I, I'm going to share a couple of scriptures. But I want to talk about being thankful. And then I'll read the scriptures uh, in a second. Uh, this is one, of, uh, it's in, on Forbes. It's one of the benefits, scientific benefits of uh, being thankful. <clears throat> Gratitude opens the door to more relationships. It, it shows good manners and appreciation. And then number two would be, uh, it improves your physical health. Grateful people experience fewer aches and pains and they report feeling healthier than other people. Let's see number three. Gratitude improves uh, psychological health and uh, gets rid of, it reduces uh, toxic emotions like envy, resentment, and frustration. I might touch on that a little bit. <clears throat> Gratitude enhances empathy and reduces aggression. Grateful people are more likely to behave in a pro-social manner. Number five, gratitude, grateful people sleep better. That's interesting. And then number six, gratitude improves self-esteem. And then number seven is gratitude increases mental strength. I know a lot of people have heard of emotional intelligence, but gratitude increases your mental strength. <clears throat> I want to share a, uh, something that happened to me years ago when I was really celebrating Christmas. I, like I, I really don't celebrate it anymore, and I'll tell you why. But um, it's okay for you. I'm not, but it's just me, just because some of the things I'm, I'm aware of. But uh, I'm, I still think any day is a good day to, to observe. Uh, uh, good manners to people, being nice to people, giving gifts to people, uh, being thankful to, to the father uh, for his son, his son's uh, birth and all. But um, <clears throat> I'll go into that a little bit, maybe a little bit more detail. But um, years ago, I remember a, a friend of mine, a close friend, and some friends of ours, we had exchanged gifts uh, during Christmas. And um, we, we didn't really have, we had maybe a, 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 a monetary limit. And uh, and I really did some research to get him, get him something nice, and and then you know so I gave him what I hoped he would enjoy, which he did. And then he gave me a gag gift, and at first I was I was a little hurt, upset because I'm thinking, why are you you know, I'm looking for something nice, and then I I realized when I took a step back, one is, why was I giving a gift in the first place, and if he took time out to to. Um, if it was a gag gift or serious gift or whatever, he still spent his hard-earned money, and he took time to purchase it. And so I, when I when I looked at it in the big picture, I was no longer hurt or frustrated. <clears throat> Back to that gag gift, um, or the gift I gave. Uh, when, like for example, I'll tell my wife we're driving, and and I'll let somebody in, and they don't say thank you or whatever. You know, when you're driving, you let someone in that really didn't have to get let in at that time. And I let, I let them in, and, and she said, they didn't even say thank you. And uh, my thing is, I don't let people in so that they can give me thanks. I let people in because it's who I am. If they give me thanks or not, that's not why I let them in. And that's how, how our Father is. He, uh, our Yahweh, Elohim, the great God, God of creation, he's like that. He doesn't do things for your thanks. He does them because of who he is. Now, of course, he wants your thanks because he knows gratitude, just like those things I just mentioned. <clears throat> all those benefits of gratitude. And uh, so let me, uh, let's read a couple of scriptures. And I also want to talk about another quick story is, um, is years ago, uh, one of our family members had received a bunch of gifts for, for the holiday, Christmas. And, uh, but <laughs> he was done opening me and he said, is that it? <laughs> like, in other words, isn't there more? <laughs> I thought I always, we always laugh about that because it's really, really funny. 
uh, the uh, the Ruach or the Holy Spirit uh, even overnight gave me this this understanding of, of being of giving thanks <clears throat> just this past in the past uh, 12 hours one of the things uh, he shared with me is that uh, when you give thanks for something when you're thankful for something you increase its value in other words it gets more important and gets bigger for you um, <clears throat> like for example at any given moment, there's way more going right for you than going wrong, or else you probably wouldn't be here. You'd probably be dead if, if you didn't have at least 55 or some something that has to be going right for you. Your body's got to be working. Uh, you have to have medical coverage. You have to have people that are willing to take care of you. All sorts of things that at any given moment uh, has to be going right for you, or you wouldn't be here. So there's always something more in the balance of being th grateful than being ungrateful. <clears throat> um, like my wife and I, we've had uh, we've had opportunities. When I was younger, we were so poor. I remember uh, I'm still not in scripture yet. I apologize. When we were younger, we were, I was about three and a half or four, and my father had left, and it was my mom and and it was three of us or four of us. My younger sister may have been born, or she I don't recall her being there, but um, we were so poor that for dinner we had a, a bowl of cornflakes with sugar and, and water, and my mom, being the th type of person she is, which was a grateful thankful person was instilling that in me and uh, so I thought having cornflakes with sugar and water was like a big treat the way she made it uh, seem so someone happened to knock on our door and I answered the door with my older brother I ran to the door with him because I was so happy that we had cereal for breakfast for for dinner that uh, I hollered out to whoever came to the door that hey ha 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 we had cornflakes sugar and water for for dinner and you didn't and I was so excited and my brother, my older brother, who was old enough to know that that wasn't the real deal uh, to be to be uh, boasting about, he said, "No, we didn't." I said, "Yes, we did," <laughs> and everybody was so embarrassed. But uh, anyway, being thankful increases the value. If if my mom had made me think that was something not to have, I would not have valued even that cereal like that. <clears throat> Just a funny funny thing uh, that I wanted to share. And uh, but like I said, being thankful. It's, it helps our bodies, helps our mind, helps our relationships. It's, it's really, and especially with Yahweh, being thankful for with Him. So listen to this. In, um, I'm just going to read in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. It says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. I believe thankfulness is part of, the, of, of acknowledging the power of Yahweh, of Elohim, of the God of creation. And I'm, I'm not, I know I'm picking that one out, but this is a uh, a, a characterization of the people in the last days of of evilness and part of one of the um, descriptions of being evil is being unthankful let's turn to Luke chapter 17 We're, I'm not going to stay long I know this is uh, some people are still have had a, have slept in today I did slept in until about 10 of 9 Luke chapter 17 verse 12 this is talking about the Messiah and as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Yeshua, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. So they were cleansed of the leprosy after they asked him. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks and it points out that, and he was a Samaritan. He wasn't even of the chosen people. And then Yeshua, verse 17, answering said, Were there not ten cleansed or healed? But where are the nine? There are not found that returned to give glory to God, save this stranger, the Samaritan. And he said unto this stranger, this Samaritan, he says, Arise, go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. So here's why am I bringing that up. All 10 of them were healed of leprosy. But if you're familiar with some of the conditions of leprosy, sometimes you lose fingers, toes, 
parts of your body, things like that. So they were all healed. So the leprosy would no longer had control over their body. But in this sense, instance where the one person who was thankful, it says Yeshua made him whole. So anything, any of the ravages, any of the, the um, complications from leprosy that had been on him because of his attitude of thankfulness were rectified. They were mitigated. They were, they, he was healed. He was made whole. He was no longer just cleansed of leprosy. His body was now whole again. And it was all had to do with being thankful or grateful because of what Yahweh through his son Yeshua had done for him. And so just that's all I, I wanted to say because a lot of times people will receive gifts over this time during this, this season. And if someone took the time to acknowledge you with a gift, even if it's not what you want. There's nothing wrong with being thankful. Look at the, find out something. There's something within that gift and within a, that whole process that you can acknowledge to be thankful for. You can be thankful. <laughs> thankful. <laughs> you can make a decision. Next year, we won't, we won't exchange gifts. You can be thankful for that decision, realizing that, that maybe you don't want to be in that, in that chain or cycle or whatever. But, or you can say next year, I won't even, I won't even observe Christmas the way people do. I'll observe, I'll observe based on what the Bible says. It's whatever, but I'm just saying there's something you could, you could, um, Acknowledge that there there is in that whole process, that whole chain, that whole cycle, that you can be thankful for. You can be thankful that that person's in your life, uh, or or whatever. Even if they didn't give you what you wanted per se, or you didn't receive what you wanted from your husband, your spouse, or or whoever. It's um, the, if being thankful, being grateful, because anytime someone takes time to spend any of their their money. And their money, the only way they earn it is by expending some of their life. Like in other words, I have to spend time and, and money, time and talent to acquire funds. It, it doesn't just show, show up uh, when I look in the bank. I had to do something to, to cause funds to be there. And it involves my time and my talent in some way. And uh, so, um, or somebody's time and talent. So um, you probably... If you look at it like that, you can be thankful. Realize that they thought enough of you, that they expended some of their life. Like if I work 40 hours, the exchange I receive when I was working, I retired, uh, but I'm now doing full time, uh, doing pastor. But um, I would exchange 40 hours of my week for a salary. That 40 hours I could never recover. And so that if some, if I gave something to someone, I would hope they would be thankful or grateful. And if they weren't, it wasn't why I gave it to them from my perspective. So I'm fine. But if they were unthankful, I read some of those things that in the science world, that seven different things from that Forbes article that shows you the benefits of being thankful. So it's on them if they're not thankful. So it's just a good time. I would say, even again, I didn't celebrate the holiday the way people uh, have in the past or the way I have in the past. And... Um, but I'm okay with other people doing whatever they want. If that's what they feel they're okay with it, that's fine. Because I'm, I'm not a Pharisee. I'm, I'm, I'm under grace. But I, but that doesn't mean I don't. If I know better about something or feel better, um, is or led by the Holy Spirit, the Ruach, then I'm not. I'm going to do what I feel led to do. Um, you do what you're led to do. I'm not trying to browbeat you, so don't take that. But I was just going to say, I, when I was giving things, I was giving them not for someone to say thank you. I was given it because I cared about that person. They were in my orbit, in my sphere of, of friends and family. And, um, and so I was, I was good. I love to give. And uh, so I don't give so that someone says thank you. I give so that I can improve someone else's day or their life or whatever. And, um, but it's also on the other end, is if, if you want to be better, if you want to enjoy life more, it's incumbent upon you to be thankful. Because in the last days, it says one of the uh, characteristics of those evil, unholy people is they're unthankful. And that's not us. This is just an encouragement for all of us to continue to give thanks in the right way, to be blessed. And so with that, I say shalom and thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button 
and hit the like button and leave a comment. That helps the algorithm for the channel. So the channel, I believe this is good stuff that, that gets put out. And uh, so we want the channel to grow it, and it only grows through uh, subscribers. If you don't cl uh, click on it, it won't it won't grow. So thank you so much, and thank you for sharing as well. And and uh, we'll have some more stuff coming up for the new year. And uh, so there's we've only just begun. So shalom, God bless you.